what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is gonna be for capricorn sun moon rising and venus it's not gonna resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box all right let's get a couple this is going to be a you versus them so if you feel like the roles are reversed take it flip it reverse it you know how it works but let's get some oracle on the overall energy surrounding this connection for the capricorn at this time spirit ancestors and guides overall energy for the capricorns connection at this time spirit ancestors and guides So somebody can be feeling like they're being um, used by somebody, okay? And, mm, okay, Capricorn, my gosh, this retrograde got people doing the most, not saying y'all doing the most, but shit, retrograde will help you to cut some shit out of your life, or it will it, <laughs> it'll bring some toxic shit, shit back around okay but at the bottom of the deck we do have soulmates all right so this is your soulmate that you're dealing with soul connection partnership soul contract life partner all right but here with girl with the snake it's like somebody feels like they're just being charmed or used by this person okay and you are trying to stop enabling that behavior by setting up boundaries okay and what's crazy is that there's two cards this is my talk to the hand not today you ain't trying to hear it and it literally says boundaries and hurt avoiding conversation not dealing still upset so you could be literally like avoiding this person not trying to conversate with them now this could be the other way around this could be your person you know and you're feeling used because it's like they come in and then you don't hear from them and they don't deal with you like as like you want them to and so it hurts or it hurts you know and so somebody here is definitely um setting up boundaries because of that behavior we have cutting out separation stopping the pattern silent treatment okay so it's like you could have blocked this person, this person could have blocked you not talking, not saying anything. And it's like, damn, it's so motherfucking hurtful. So there is some kind of separation here. And it's like you want to stop that pattern. You want to put up these boundaries because going through this same shit over and over and over again with this person is hurting you. So with healthy choices, self-love and self-care, being happier, loving life, that's like you're trying to make healthier choices for yourself. Like you are kind of feeling like this person's a charmer, they're a snake, they are using you, um, and you're tired of it. You're tired of letting them get away with that bullshit. So it's like you're setting up boundaries trying to cut them out, just avoiding the conversation, trying to give them the silent treatment because you're tired of the bullshit and, and you want better for yourself. But there is a strong soul tie here. So let's see, for the Capricorn spirit, how is the Capricorn feeling towards their person at this time? Spirit, ancestors, and guides, how is the Capricorn feeling towards their person at this time? Spirit, ancestors, and guides. How is the Capricorn feeling towards their person at this time? Something was just telling me to shuffle, y'all. How is the Capricorn feeling towards their person at this time, spirit, ancestors, and guides? The star. Okay. It's like this person can get a, could get a lot of recognition. Okay. And you feel like they might have a lot of options but you do feel like there is hope because she's pouring these two cups it's like soulmate energy she's pouring it into one river and the star card is also a card of like hope for a bright future you know new beginnings and you feel like you guys like as long as you put up these boundaries and stop enabling their behavior you're feeling like maybe that can spark some change in this person and that you guys can come back together stronger. But the thing here is, I need to stop saying that. <laughs> the thing is, <laughs> the thing is, if this bitch says the thing is one more time, <laughs> no, I'm just like, um, 
this person could get a lot of recognition though too they are very charming they are very sexy they are very magnetic okay um and that tends to make somebody feel insecure okay how is the capricorn's person feeling towards the capricorn spirit how is the capricorn's person feeling towards the capricorn spirit how is the capricorn's person feeling towards the capricorn spirit ancestors and guys how is the capricorns oh they feel like it's completely over okay tower it was this whatever done happened within this connection it was sudden it was unexpected everything blew up in this person's face at once okay and it could be because you have blocked this person and cut them off and you ain't trying to hear them you're not conversating you're not engaging with them at all because you're tired of them coming in and out you're tired of feeling used by this person you're tired of being hurt by them and so with these boundaries now this person is feeling like it's completely over like tower moment after tower moment karma oh we and so yeah they feel like it's over because you ain't you ain't saying shit what is the capricorn thinking what is the capricorn thinking about their person spirit ancestors and guides what is the capricorn thinking yeah, you're thinking about just focusing on yourself and, and healing, trying to heal from this situation. Because for a long time, this person had you stressed the fuck out, um, worried about what they have going on, leaving shit up in the air, okay? And so you, you're you just thinking, like, I just don't want to be sad. I don't want to be hurt anymore. I just want to heal and move forward, okay? But your person could be thinking about having a new opportunity with you, hoping that you give them another chance. Let's see. What is this person thinking? What is the Capricorn's person thinking about the Capricorn spirit ancestors and guides? What is the Capricorn's person thinking about three of cups coming back together, reconciling? There could be a third party situation that was crossing the connection because it came out crossways. Okay. Um... So they could be like thinking about that third party situation and how they hurt you and crossed you in so many ways, okay? But this is also them, um, I just heard regret too, living in motherfucking regret, overthinking, replaying shit in their head. And also, this is also them trying to come back together with you. I'm just going to be honest, this person might have been dealing with like multiple people, not just, um somebody you know about if they put you in a third party situation if that's not resonating for you they are thinking about coming back together here and reconciling but also it's like it's almost like it ain't even up to you no more <laughs> shit because you like when are you going to be sure i don't know let's see spirit ancestors and guys the capricorn's overall energy Capricorn's overall energy at this time, Spirit. What is the Capricorn's overall energy at this time? The Four of Wands. Okay, so this is your <laughs> twin flame soulmate. You guys are mirroring one another. And mirroring doesn't mean like at the same exact time. Okay, a lot of people get that confused. Like if you're acting a certain way right now, they're going to act a certain way. But this is mirroring each other's energies at different times. So at times, they'd pull their energy back from you and leave shit up in the air with you. But I feel like now the tables are turning and it's like you're pulling your energy back from them and leaving it up in the air. Have them worrying. Have them fucking stressing for once. While you sit in this energy of trying to heal and move forward. What is the Capricorn's person's overall energy spirit? What is the Capricorn's person's overall energy spirit? I'm just feeling anxiety so bad. It's like in the pit of my fucking stomach. Oh my God. Seven of Wands. This person doesn't want to argue. Okay. It's like they're very defensive, sticking up for themselves, playing victim. Okay. It, that could be one of the issues with you. It's like you will never admit your faults or your wrongs. Neither. 
you could be asking them things that are going on and they're acting like yeah spirit come through what you don't see secrets them keeping secrets from you the moon but these secrets are be, are going to be revealed there's something that's going to be coming out here or they already have and you're questioning them and instead of facing you like a g or like a real person and giving you what you deserve which was an explanation they might have just turned their back on you and left like like you didn't even fucking matter here you know and that hurt you even worse like okay you're gonna give me the silent treatment after i'm hurting and you can't even give me an explanation on what's going on and so now it's like your energy is shifting towards this person where it's like you know what I i'll be damned if i keep doing it the blockages here this person the page of swords very childish with their communication okay very egotistical let's see what else are the blockages here spirit for the capricorn six of wands that's what, that's what i'm saying it's like somebody gets a lot of recognition here a lot okay somebody could be very successful so at times they might think that they're better than the other one okay and put the other one down that needs to end okay but also somebody gets a lot of recognition from people you know and this makes it makes somebody feel insecure especially because there was a third party situation here at one point even if you don't know about it with the moon at the bottom there was something going on here it's like your intuition is telling you though knight of wands somebody coming towards you very very passionately but that's also like the player of the deck you know somebody that's in and out hot and cold energies and that's another issue it's like they come in very passionately you know um and you're thinking okay like maybe we can do this and then they're out again and that's that's a huge issue okay let's see for conclusions and outcome spirit conclusion and outcome on the capricorn in this connection at this time conclusions and outcome the hanged man so after a time of not talking all right this person hmm, who is unemotional and detached okay they want to come in with some honesty they actually want to come in because they feel like unless they give you an explanation or they like tell you what's been going on or you know tell you how they feel because this is something that they hide is their emotions they're unemotional they're detached they don't show you how they feel they want to come in with some honesty but this is after a time a period of, of rest of waiting and yeah there's some kind of apology coming okay with the page of cups and some kind of offer they have decided that they want you wherever they're at they're very unhappy they're very not unfulfilled and they have definitely made the decision to come towards you with some honesty with some kind of apology but you know with the judgment to try to rekindle this relationship okay to bring this back from the dead here um let's see any angel messages for the capricorn on this situation spirit ancestors and guides any messages for the capricorn on this situation spirit ancestors and guides as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart prosperity is coming to you now so spirit wants you to follow your heart when it comes to this situation okay um vanessa to make your decision wow to make your decision ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it okay so that's what you're questioning yourself i feel like this is your twin flame with this four of wands energy here soulmate energy up there so it's like you're even though mentally you're wanting to walk away i feel like your heart is pushing you back towards this person Pro you will be blessed with prosperity for following your heart instead of your head here and to make this decision ask yourself which way is going to bring you closer to your divine purpose okay teresa time out you've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs but now it's time to stop and take care of yourself 
So this could be a message from the angels to you guys about what's going on um, in your energy here. Maybe you're overworked. Maybe you're busy thinking about everybody else. It's time to take a break for yourself. Pamp for yourself. Any messages from the romance angels on this situation, spirit? Any messages from the romance angels on this situation with the Capricorn spirit, ancestors, and guides? Any messages from the romance angels? On this connection with the Capricorn spirit, ancestors, and guides. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith in the universe, okay? Um, get one more. Playfulness. To recapture this romance, allow your inner uh youthful spirit of fun to shine so it's like go back to the way it was in the beginning where y'all didn't have all this extra shit that was coming in between this connection okay just enjoy the moment fully at this time and that's what's gonna bring this back together okay all right cappy that's what i got for you guys if that resonated at all comment below let me know until next time loves peace